In this very important lesson, I want to address functions, uh, the ability to do math using Excel in, in a very quick way. In the first lesson, I explained that you can insert formulas, and I constructed a formula the old way um, by typing every cell. So we said equals C5 plus D5 plus E5. Now, that's all well and good. You need to understand what goes into a formula. However, they've created these functions that make our jobs that much easier. So I'm going to delete these. Um, and use a simpler way to add these cells together. This is your function wizard over here. It's not important that you remember what it's called, but if I bring this arrow down, I'm given right off the bat the five most popular functions in Excel. There are countless others, depending on what it is you do. Um, you can find many, many functions to do many different things, but we're gonna focus on the five basic ones for now. So this sum function, so I've simply put my insertion point in this cell. And now if I hit sum, it's going to try to guess what it is I'm trying to add. It doesn't always guess correctly. In this case, it is guessing correctly. And part of the reason it's guessing correctly is because my one here is a numeric label. It's not a regular number one, it's an apostrophe one. Had I typed in a regular number one, it would be including that in the total, which is part of the reason I like using numeric labels. But if it didn't guess correctly, I would simply click and drag across the range that I wanted. But because it's perfect, I don't have to do anything. I just hit enter. So once again, I simply came here and asked for sum. And now it's not guessing correctly because there's nothing in this cell. So I would click and drag across the cells that I want and then hit enter. It's that fast. It's that easy. And like other formulas, I can simply copy that formula all the way down or all the way across. Your next most popular function would probably be average. So I'm gonna hit average here. And once again, it's not guessing correctly. I cannot include the total. I only want the average of these cells. So I'm simply clicking and dragging with my mouse to redefine the range. And now it's found the average. Whenever you use one of these functions, double check to make sure that the answer actually makes sense before you copy it down or across. So here, 41.6 is somewhat logical. I don't think you need to take out your calculator, but just make sure that it makes sense uh, to make sure that you didn't include extra cells, etc. So once again, I simply came here, asked for average, and then I clicked and dragged across the range that I needed the average of, hit enter, and I'm done, and now I can copy that down. If I want to find the highest number in a range, I have this max feature here. And again, click and drag with your mouse, and then hit enter. You can type these formulas manually if you want. However, the function wizard makes it so much faster and easier. So here, for lowest, find the lowest number, I would hit min. And again, I'm simply clicking and dragging with my mouse, and it's entering the proper range, and then I hit enter, and that's done. So now, I've been working with the figures for each employee. So employee one, I found their average, their highest, and their lowest. And I did the same thing throughout, okay? Here I can find the average production on Monday. I can find also, you know what I forgot? The total. So I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit and I'm gonna add total. I'm gonna start with total, which is simply the sum. And again, it didn't guess correctly, so Redefine it. Don't grab the extra cell, leave that alone. Just grab the ones you need and then hit enter. And then you can copy that right across. Before I do that, I just wanna show you that average works the same way. So I go average and again, redefine the range, hit enter. For highest, it would be max. Redefine the range, hit enter. Lowest would be min, redefine the range, hit enter. If I want to see how many people actually worked on Monday, okay, so I'm here I'm comparing my how many people are absent on any given day. So I would use my count feature here, which counts the amount of non-blank cells. And again, double check to make sure, did I have nine? Yeah, I do have nine. Now, I can copy these across one at a time, or I can grab all of them. Excel and the fill handle are that good where I can get all of those right across. Okay, so it copied the exact formula for each one of these cells right across the row. 
So that's your function wizard. Very, very powerful, fast, easy to use. Remember that it's there. You can always type things the old school way where you're adding each cell. But once you know how to use the function wizard properly, you really don't have the need to do that. 